Hello, today we're going to take a look at custom calendar options in SharePoint Online and Microsoft Lists. Every single one of us use calendars. In fact, we need to collaborate with other workers to coordinate on schedule and communicate when and where events are taking place. This has always been a critical need for everyone. Unfortunately, in SharePoint Online, the out-of-the-box calendar options are a little bit limited. We're going to start by taking a look at what's provided to us in SharePoint, how we can use that, and then look at some advanced calendar formatting that you can do using the tool from SharePointDashboards.com. So now, let's get SharePoint Smart. All right, I'm in SharePoint Online and we're looking at a very simple SharePoint view. I have just created a custom list called Calendar View and I have simple information in it. I have the title of events and then when the event starts and when it ends. In SharePoint, when you have a list like this, as long as it's got a start and end date, you have the option to create a view, and uh, there is an option for calendar. I've already done that step, and I have a view I've created called calendar view. This is the option provided to us in SharePoint for modern lists. This is the month calendar view, which we've all got used to. It's what we expect, and it's what we think about whenever somebody talks about a custom calendar um, in any kind of a web platform. Many of us use Google Calendar, for example, and this would be the default view that you can use. As with most things in SharePoint, this works off of list data. So if I come in here, I can just click on a calendar date to create a new event. Um, so I'll do one for Thursday and I can just click on new and say lunch with Tom and then I've got the options for a start and uh, end time and date. Okay so we'll say 12 o'clock p.m. and then we'll say it's going to go to 1 o'clock p.m. on the 31st. Pretty simple concepts. Um, there it is on the calendar. So this calendar view is pretty simple in terms of how it works and the concepts involved, but it's limited. It doesn't let us customize and control the calendar and handle all of the dyna dynamic options that you would like to have on a calendar. I can, of course, uh, page through different months and then I can uh, do things like have multiple events. Now, one thing you'll notice is we don't have a lot of real estate. Uh, if you notice on March 29th, I am seeing two events. There's three more, but I can't see it by default in the view. Um, that's not a great interface for users. It just says plus three more. So, of course, I can click on that. And then once you click on the day, it's giving me a little bit more information. Um, but still not everything. As you can imagine, I may have detailed information about events that I need to learn about, uh, things like that. So being able to you know, only see two events on the main default view before you see this other option is um, not the best user experience. Another thing about this, um, the, the uh, coloring, uh, the border colors, highlights, things like that, Everything kind of blends together. In general, we really just see white and gray, and then um, we've got whatever the default color is for this particular site that I'm in. Um, so it's a little bit bland. Everything tends to kind of run together if I'm going through multiple events, that type of thing. I do not have options in here to do things like 
use custom highlighting uh, for calendar days uh, or use custom icons, things like that. And so there's a lot of things that are perhaps a little bit lacking in the user interface. Um, in fact, I kind of want to show you a matrix which talks about some of the options between that and what I'm getting ready to show you, which is the SharePoint dashboards options for a custom calendar. Here's some of the things that most of us want to be able to do in our calendar. We certainly want our current date to be highlighted. We want that to stand out. If I'm looking at the month calendar, you want that current day to jump out at you. Um, the, this is something where you can't change the color of that or make it stand out anymore with the out of the box option. And all these things I'm gonna describe, you'll be able to do all these things with the template that we'll take a look at in just a moment. Uh, we want to be able to highlight weekends. The out-of-the-box calendar does not do that. Uh, multiple events, we just saw how it's limited to showing us just the first two events before we have to click to get more detailed information. We'd like to be able to do things like configure the styling, um, including the font face, colors. We'd like that uh, header to be able to stand out. Uh, it was a bit small in that view. The actual date boxes themselves, those are very small, very limited real estate in terms of what we're seeing there in SharePoint. If possible, we'd like that to be larger so that it would be easier to read. We want to have the ability to highlight specific days with different background colors and then go even a level deeper to highlight individual events and do things like add custom icons. As far as the user experience, we want them to be able to get a large, easy to read uh, view of that day with all of the detail information rolled into one. We want them to be able to get there uh, easily. And then we want to be able to do things like control the colors, the borders around the calendar, uh, the font color in the calendar, um, things like that. In general, what we want is to have a highly configurable look and feel. Um, that's really the goal of this template, what we're getting ready to take a look at. Okay, so let's jump back to SharePoint and I'm going over to sharepointdashboards.com and this template is called Calendar, uh, View Calendar. You can find it easily from the uh, gallery that's going to be linked under this uh, under the video so I can search on here there it is you can just click on the tile and I do want to mention you can sign up to get 20 of those templates for free um, there's no obligation with that this is a pro template so this is part of the professional uh, version of these templates and this preview shows us what we're getting ready to set up. It gives you a little bit of an idea before we even jump into things. And I have some configuration options. I can do things like change the um, weekend background color. Um, you know, maybe I want that to be pink. Maybe I want the current day highlight to be a little different. All these are configurable uh, by just adjusting these various settings. I can configure the themes um, just to see some different examples. Here's one with a courier typeface. Um, so you can set that according to however you want that to look. You can even uh, change the font size. Maybe I like a little bit larger font size, that type of thing. So you can just configure the options until you have it set up the way that you want. Once it is, all you do is hit the copy button and now we're going to hop over to SharePoint. Now this template that I'm showing you, it does require that you download this list template provided. It's linked in the notes in the blue box. And there is a tutorial which shows you how to obtain that template and install it into your own SharePoint environment. It's pretty straightforward. It would just take you a few minutes. Once you've done that, you're going to have a list in your SharePoint environment which you need to apply the template to. So all that list data is sitting here but of course this isn't showing the view that we want. And all that I have to do is go to Format and Advanced and I'm just pasting in what I took from that other window. 
And now we see a very different looking calendar view than what we were seeing um, from the out of the box SharePoint. You can see that the day boxes are larger and a little bit easier to read. You can see that we've got highlighting for the weekend since I have that option selected and then the highlight for the current date. And we have multiple events um, that we see lined up. Somewhat like the SharePoint option, I'm just gonna click on the day to get detailed information about this. Now this template's gonna support up to eight events shown simultaneously from the view without having to click to get more detailed information. And then I can just scroll through here and it's gonna show me successive months, that kind of thing. In fact, I have multiple views here just to show whatever window of time that I want to, but this one's showing the current month and the next month, which is a typical kind of uh, range of dates that we wanna look at. All right, so let's jump right to that. Now this uses a customized form header which is giving us detailed information about these events. So the user can easily get in here and view key data. So the fields available for each event are, of course, the description, then we have the start and end, and then you can specify a location and an icon, which was not a part of what's in the out of the box SharePoint, as well as event highlight color. Then you can provide a link. You may want to provide a link to a page which has a whole bunch of information if you need to do that, and you can even do an event contact. So this window is showing me large, easy to read information about the day's events. Now we already have five events. I'm going to go ahead and add a sixth event. All right, so we'll do birthday, celebration, dinner. We're going to say that's going to be at 6 o'clock. Do 6 p.m. And we'll say that's going to go till 8 p.m. Just scroll down through the options. There's 8 p.m. And then I'm going to say that's at, um, let's say, Jimmy's Mexican Restaurant. Okay, and then I can pick icons. You've got lots of options here. You don't have to use an icon, but it's just kind of a fun option that's available um, to you that you can uh, put in there. So I'll do the little lightning icon. And then um, I can, instead of that, or in addition to that, I can actually highlight the individual event. Um, so I can go through here and maybe I'm just going to make this stand out a little bit by doing this floral white option. And what's great is once I do that, you see a preview immediately at the top of the window. I know exactly how it's gonna look even before I exit out of the screen. Okay, so there's all the information for that day. I can close out of here and you can see it just stacks right on this view. This will hold up to eight events. And if the information overflows, you'll notice that there is the dot, 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 the ellipsis which lets me know there's more information. And if I highlight, or if I hover over that, it's showing me the complete information um, that's under that. And in fact, you can see the little icon in there too. So I can just hover for details, or like I say, if I need to get in here and get information, and it's gonna provide me the details. So this includes the location, contact information, um, additional detail if I need that. So. Pretty simple, just one click to get to that. And I can just keep scrolling through my calendar. You might be wondering about events that don't have a scheduled start or end time. Sometimes you have all day events. Those are pretty simple. You basically just um, don't need to select an option for the event start. You can uh, pick the all day option if you want to, that also works fine, or just leave it blank. Um, either one of those options is fine. And then, um, as I mentioned, you can provide links. I'll just put a dummy link in here just to demonstrate. Event information page, just put that. And you can see that it's automatically putting that detail into this summary information right here. 
Okay, so if I wanna to get to that detail information, I can just come in here, I can click, and there it is, opening the link to the next page. Now, if you have the contact information in there, that's gonna provide an email link for that contact. So maybe people need to contact them to RSVP or something. I could put some notes in about that. And now you see a link to the contact, and I can click on that, and there we go. It's, um, go, it's actually linking directly into my email for me. So that was highlighting event days. It may be that I just want that whole day to stand out. And um, it's you know, a really important day, and maybe it's a, a company holiday. And I can do that right at the very top. So in here I have the uh, background color, and let's just say that we really want that to stand out. You can instantly see the change up on the header, so I know what the color is doing for me. Um, and I can even do things like, um, Kind of do a reverse. I could do like a white text color and do a dark background. Um, so let me do that. Go to like a navy color. Now obviously when I do this I may want to um, change some different options that kind of thing because now that's kind of blending in but um, in that case I could just go for a dark color on that highlighting. So instead of that let's do uh, how about green. Okay so now everything looks the way I want and when I close out of this you're going to see it's really going to stand out. So now I have total control over the look of this calendar. I can really make things jump out. I can control the font. Um, I can uh, put icons that would be meaningful to my users. Um, I can add some contrast in terms of the weekend days versus the current day. And it's all controllable by me just through those configuration settings. And if I want to tweak those default settings um, on the calendar, I can still just come back over here and adjust that over here. Maybe I wanted to go uh, for like a navy blue border color, that type of thing. Um, I can just copy that over and um, all I have to do is go to format, I can paste in, and now I've got uh, you know, navy blue for the grid. So. Um, with all those different possibilities, which I can apply easily, um, you could really have some uh, different looks according to how you want the calendar to look. All right. So I hope you found that interesting. I see a lot of people posting and asking about doing custom calendars in SharePoint Online and with Microsoft Lists. And the out-of-the-box options are limiting, very limiting. And uh, really what people want is the ability to customize and make things look a different way. And they want to add that extra polish or do things to match up with their company branding or different colors that may have significance in terms of um, the calendar data being used. What you get with out-of-the-box SharePoint is limiting. It doesn't really let you do a lot. The template that I demonstrated today is something you can work with easily and it gives your users a lot more friendly option that lets them look at that calendar data in a more interesting and user-friendly way and it lets you control that look. You could even have uh, different calendars that you set up on multiple pages um, that have uh, their own look and feel if you want. So this is a really uh, interesting, flexible option for you for doing custom calendar views. If you're new to the SharePoint-Boards.com tool, I really recommend you get in there and sign up for free because there are 20 templates that you get automatically without signing up for the professional version of those tools. So that can let you warm up and experiment and begin to get comfortable with how those work. And when you're ready, then you can go ahead and get signed up to take advantage of all those templates. So I hope you like this option for custom calendars and you think this could be pretty cool for your organization. And be sure to post comments and let me know if you have any questions about using that or next steps. And just a reminder, there is a uh, tutorial video linked on that template which will help you get started. So good luck, and I hope you enjoy the custom calendar for SharePoint Online and Microsoft Lists.